welcome to Faith Life Ministries International, the home of miracles. Total Gospel to Total Man. Praise the Lord. Glory be to Jesus, the Son of God. Today is our last day of our prophetic fasting for the month of August, the month of advancement. We give God praise and glory for His mercies and for His goodness. I believe that there have been testimonies and testimonies and God has been doing great things in our lives and our families. I pray that you will see the end of August. August will not see your end. You will see the end of 2020. 2020 will not see your end. In the name of Jesus, the Son of God. There is a difference between looking for something and something looking for you. From today, I decree and I declare, whatever you have been looking for, may it begin to look for you in the name of Jesus. From now till the end of this year, whatever you have used your time, effort, your resources to search for, and you've not been able to get or to find, from this day, it will begin to look for you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We serve a living God. We serve a mighty God. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Glory be to God. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. I want, you to, I want us to look at the New Living Translation of this scripture, brethren. Listen, seek the kingdom of God above all else. Child of God, this is the secret. And live righteously and he will give you everything that you need. There are things child of God, you should not be looking for. There are things you should not be pursuing. If you pursue God, there are certain things that will pursue you and they will look for you. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. I charge you in the name of Jesus. As we end this three days fasting today, make seeking God your priority. Not money, not materialism, Make seeking God your priority. Not man, not woman. Make seeking God your priority. Brethren, and you will enjoy the abundance of God for the remaining part of this year. What we cut other short will not come near your dwelling place. And he will give you everything you need. The mistake most of us are making, we are pursuing everything we need. And we are putting God as number two. And every time you pursue everything you need and put God behind, you don't catch up with everything you need. But when you pursue God, everything you need will pursue you. In Tatushkina Angra Disi Kinda Bayanta, you will not suffer lack anymore. In the name of Jesus, where others go to and they don't have any say, may God give you a voice. In the name of Jesus. Because you are making God number one. You are seeking God. Brethren, every child of God, listen to me. There are things you should not look for. A child of God should not look for peace. A child of God should not look for joy. These things are found in Christ. They are in God. When you pursue God, joy, peace, happiness, sound health is your portion. The reason why we have many in the body of Christ being cut short, suffering, oppression, depression, like the children of the world, is because we are like them. We are pursuing, busy pursuing things they are pursuing. Do not mistake me. I'm not saying you shouldn't pursue your business, your career, or your goals in life, or your aspiration, but let God be number one. Put God first in front of you. Put God behind you. Put God by your side. Cut off from people and things that do not please God. Embrace the mercy and the grace of God. And you will end this year. I guarantee you, if your seeking God is genuine, you will end this year on top and not be net. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
the Son of God. May the abundance of the goodness of God be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your walk with God be genuine. You are not doing it because you want men to take note of you. Remember, I've always said this. With God, intention is more important than action. God look at the reason why you are doing the thing that why you are doing it. And if your intention, your motives are right, the blessings of God will come to you and overtake you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not die young in the name of Jesus. Not because you are better than those who have gone, but because of the mercies of God and because God is before you as your number one. In the name of Jesus, the Son of God. Look at the book of Romans 14 verse 17. Romans 14 and verse 17. For the kingdom of God, this is the God we serve. His kingdom is not of a matter of what we eat or drink. Let not your service to God be concerned about just material things. Do not just pray and fast or seek God only because of what you want to eat and what you want to drink. It's a but of living a life of goodness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. When you live a life of goodness, you pursue the cause of God. The peace and joy of God is in the Holy Ghost. Joy and peace is in the Holy Spirit. No child of God should look for joy and peace. Joy and peace is in the Holy Spirit. And if you have the Spirit of God, the same that rose up Jesus from dead, joy and peace is your portion. I pray from today you will never lack joy. Not in your home. Not in your family, not in your business, not in your career. From today, in the midst of storm, enjoy peace. In the midst of battles and challenges, enjoy peace. When others are in trouble and in dismay, running here, running there, may you be still with the joy and the peace of the Lord in the name of Jesus. May that joy and peace be your source of victory and make you the head and not the tail. In Jesus' mighty name. Look at one more scripture, Galatians chapter 5. Verse 22 to 23. Look at these fruits of the Spirit, which every child of God should enjoy. As you pursue God, as you make God your number one, the abundance of all things will be your portion in Jesus' name. Galatians 5 22 to 23. But the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Brethren, pursue God. Pursue God more than ever before. Ministers of God hearing my voice. Child of God listening to me, pursue God. Money is good. But please don't make money your priority. Make God your priority. Material blessings are good, but don't make them your priority. Make God your priority. Pursue His presence more than His gifts. Pursue God. And these whole material things will look for you in the name of Jesus Christ. But the Holy Ghost produces this kind of fruit in our life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Look at verse 23. Gentleness, self-control. Child of God, when you pursue God, when you seek the kingdom of God, you act as a Christian, self-control, the ability to control yourself. His gentleness. The Bible said there is no law against this thing. As we end this fasting, I pray that from this day, through the remaining part of this year, you will not look for peace and joy anymore because you are a carrier of peace and joy. It's in the Holy Ghost through the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Any area of your life that is short of peace and joy, from this day, begin to enjoy peace and joy in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are lacking anything because you have made God your number one, may all these blessings pursue you and overtake you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Lift your hands up to Jesus in praise and in thanksgiving. Lord, you are my number one. Lord, you are my number one. And if you've been putting God behind, please, I ask you to repent. If you have been losing your faith in Christ, rededicate your life to Christ. If you have been misleading and you've been indulging in things you shouldn't be, please ask God for forgiveness and rededicate yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
as you make God number one and seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing you are looking for, as the word says, from this day, we begin to look for you in the mighty name of Jesus, the son of the living God. If you haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus, please ask him into your heart today. Now, in the name of Jesus, if you've done so, may grace become your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray these three prayers before I pray for you. Manda Jikradish Kataba. Prayer number one. Lift up your hands, brethren. Say every effort of the wicked to turn my joy to pain and sorrow. Be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Every effort of the wicked to turn my joy to sorrow, financially, spiritually, materially, monetarily, let him be frustrated in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Prayer number two, my father, my helper, declare with me, my father, my helper, let the manifestation of your joy and peace be visible in my life, be visible in my home, be visible in my place of work, be visible in my business in the name of Jesus Christ. And prayer number three, say, I decree and I declare the joy and peace of the Lord from this day shall be my portion and shall never depart from the works of my hands or from my family and from my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up both hands. Say, I decree and I declare. I shall see the end of August 2020. August 2020 shall not see my end. I shall see the end of the year 2020. The end of the year 2020 shall not see my end. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare that in Jesus' mighty name. Maka te te ke te lipra, nush ki titia, e kopandinika, tundi klina angra dish kataba. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I pray for anyone that has an appointment. I decree God's favor upon you. Anyone that is asked to come for any interview, I decree success in the mighty name of Jesus the Son of God. Anyone that is traveling for an appointment, I decree, receive that job in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand in agreement, Lord, with your children for joy, peace, and we ask for grace to seek you like never before, to pursue you, God, like never before, to stand only for you like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we make you the one and only in our life, we decree that every other thing we seek after shall pursue and overtake us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, anyone sick, I pray for your mighty touch upon them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Be healed and be made whole in Jesus' name. Brethren, God will keep you. God will preserve you. I am glad that you successfully carry out this three days fasting. Next month, the month of September, we shall be doing it again. Mercy will keep keeping you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your life will keep flourishing. You will keep increasing. Keep God as number one. Seek him first. Let everything else be second. Let everyone else be second. And watch God make your life a living testimony. We take the bread. We take the wine, the juice. We sanctify it as the blood of Jesus and as the body of Christ. As we eat and as we drink by faith, we receive supernatural fortification. In the name of Jesus, against form of any form of accident, sickness or disease, oppression in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, may God bless you, may God keep you. Please, I'll see you on Sunday, on Facebook, YouTube, whichever medium you use to watch. May God keep you and God sustain you in Jesus' name. God bless you.